Howdy, Legendary Void here, and today we have Titan Masters Attack Booster Box for you all. Um, I have two of these currently um, right now, and I'll probably get a few more in the future just so I can hopefully get the entire set and a few more super rares. Um, but yeah, we're going to be opening up one of them for you all today. Um, I went and picked them up from my local card shop today, so I also got the uh, Perceptor and Apex promos um, made by Dan Arnold, who won the Energon Invitational. Um, so yeah, those are pretty cool. And I'm excited to do some fun stuff with both these characters. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the box. Um, as usual, anytime I open up cards on this channel, I apologize for the shaky table, but that's just how it's going to be. Um, as well as, I'm going to be showing all the character cards first and all the battle cards towards the end of the video. Um, so if you guys are just interested in the characters, uh, don't worry. We'll try and get that stuff out of the way first. Um, oh, I should have grabbed a trash can, but this bag will do. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm super excited about this. This set looks amazing, and uh, all the character cards look pretty phenomenal. So there's the there's the actual box itself. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So starting off, uh, I know a lot of people have been complimenting the nice uh, hollow pattern on the packs, which that does look pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So my first pack of Wave 5, it is, and of course they have the Magic the Gathering stuff, we have Beachcomber. Now Beachcomber is a card that I really like, um, and if you watched my live stream from the other day, you'll know that I am a big fan of this card. So he is a common, so we'll go in the stack. And then we also have the amazing art for the stratagems, so we'll put these right here. Um, and then these will just go over here. Next pack. Let's see, what else can we get here? Ooh, our first rare, Sergeant Cup. So he is the Wrecker leader, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm really hoping that this box right here has the misprint uh, Twin Twister Whatever the one that has no stars on the bottom of it is. I'm sure we'll come across him and I can talk about it later. But yeah, our first rare is Sergeant Cup. He's going to be an interesting one for sure. Um, I'll just put him on the bottom right there. And then the head that came with him is Chasm. So that's pretty cool. I know a lot of people have been saying it as Chasm. And that has upset some people. So that's just kind of funny in my opinion, honestly. Um, we'll put that right there. I think. Now I'll put it right here. Um, Alright, next pack. So hopefully we can get a super rare in this box. Hey, here's Grax. He's a rare head. So I guess we can put him like right there. We have Chrome Dome, which this card is honestly, in my opinion, one of the strongest ones in the set. His uh, ability to just get rid of actions from your opponent's deck entirely is just so incredibly strong. And uh, the fact that he's just an uncommon kind of blows my mind a little bit. But, uh, yeah. He is a specialist, too, so he gets to do field communicator stuff and all kinds of other fun shenanigans. Um, next, we have uh, Outback's Stratagem, as well as Braun, which he is a common as well. Braun's a cool five-star. He's a five-star, right? Five-star truck. So I'm excited to do some cool stuff with him. Um, frankly, I don't know what the money battle cards for this set are. Um, if I had to guess, maybe uh, Belligerence and some other stuff. But, uh, oop. here's Springer Stratagem and Wingspan, which is another common. Wingspan seems pretty interesting to me. If you can continuously pull off his ability, it seems, uh, it seems really strong. Just building up your defense basically to an infinite number. Not infinite, but the crazy, crazy numbers. That's what I was trying to say there. So the head for this one is Autobot Stylar, which is another uncommon head. And the actual character is going to be... Oh, here's another rare. Sky Shadow Plane. So uh, I'm excited to play Sky Shadow. Um, it kind of stinks that both the pieces are rares. Um, but, you know, there's not too much we can do about that. But the, both these pieces uh, are very, very strong. Whether it be having bold 2 or tough 2, that's just such a good, uh, good way... It's a good, it's a good ability for it to have. Um, next, we have another brawn and a wind sweeper uh, stratagem. 
Next up, oh, can't believe I've already gotten a duplicate. And two rares, which usually my rares come at the end of the box. Here's Mind Wipe, which is an uncommon. He's got some interesting abilities. Um, as well as Apex, which is Optimus Prime's head. Also, this feels kind of thick. Are they all? Oh, yeah. They feel a lot more cardboardy. Uh, he's an uncommon head. Um, next, we have. And I'm just shredding these packs. We have another Beachcomber. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, and there's Outback's uh, Stratagem again. Next up. Oh, there goes my phone. Shut up, spam caller. Alright. <laughs> Next up, here's the head uh, Chasm again, and the character is Nautica, which is another rare. Sweet. So we've gotten three rares so far, so that's pretty cool. I might run out of space here in a minute. Um, but yeah, looking good so far. Let's see. So, three rares. Uh, I wanted Pup, for sure, uh, and Sky Shadow Plane, but Nautica is one I'm a little iffy about. We got Crankcase's Stratagem, and Bludgeon. He's a common, so. Bludgeon seems like he'd be really good in Sealed. Just having the base 6 attack and 11 stars seems really nice uh, to be able to work with. So I'm excited for that guy. Um, next we have Chrome Dome again. So that's that. And the head for this one is Kreb, which is an uncommon. Are the heads uncommon? They might be. I'm not too particularly sure. What What are the... Oh, the Springer ones are rare. Uh, but I think that's the only rare one we've seen so far. Yeah. So that's interesting. Um, Alright, let's keep going. So, next up... Oh, there's a bad glare there. I just realized that. Um... That'll be fine. Another Brawn. Okay. Uh, Brawn seems to like showing off. Here's a Weapons Cache, which is an uncommon. I keep trying to grab uh, sleeves instead of the packs. I don't know why. Alright. And then we have Horrible, which I know a lot of people are excited about this guy. Um, he's another uncommon. With the head of Chasm again. <laughs> So that's uh that's something interesting to note. And for the next one we have Hey, Sky Shadow Tank. We got both pieces. How about that? Now all we have to do is pull his head. Which I think his head is a rare. So that would be pretty neat if we could. So here's uh both pieces to him. Wow, all the rares are on one side of the box, so that's something that's something interesting to note. Um, but yeah, we got both the pieces to Sky Shadow, as well as four rares already. <laughs> so I'm not really going to be expecting another rare, but that would be pretty sick. And we got Vorath as the head for that one. I'm trying to remember which one is the head for Sky Shadow, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. Uh, next we have Autobot Outback, which is our first time to pull him, as well as Heroic Spotlight for our Stratagem. Um, I guess I'll start overlapping them. I'll put all the rares, stratagems, in a pile by themselves, so. That's that. Battle cards go here. Ah, oh, the glare's kind of bad. I'm sorry, guys. I, I probably should have thought about the lighting a bit more. But, you know, we'll, we'll live. Oh, Lord. Next we have... <gasps> Here's our secret rare, Drax. He's like the one I'm least excited about for this set, but you know, it's a secret rare, so I can't complain too much. <laughs> uh, Drax, I don't like him. I, I just really don't like him, but he's a super rare, so... You know, that's a thing. Uh, he's got decent effects. Decent, decent, meh, meh, meh. He's meh, he's meh. I'll just put him right here. Oh lord, probably should have thought about this better. Eh, it look, doesn't look too bad. Um, and he came with Crankcase's Stratagem, so another common one. Um, I'm gonna just throw all the battle cards up there. Alright, next up. Uh, man, Trax. 
It'd be cool. I know I've heard people getting two super rares in one month. Ah, here he is. Here he is. No stars. So he's supposed to be a nine cost, but he has no stars. So he, uh, so it's, it's just funny. I don't know. I just think it's hilarious that they, they mess stuff like that. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's a pretty decent card and I, and I like him. I hope top spin sees some play. I mean, he's a wrecker. So hopefully if they make some like wrecker specific, uh, battle cards, that would be pretty neat. But uh, yeah, Topspin is uncommon, and he came with Megatron's head, which is Doom Shot, which I don't think we've gotten him yet. And so far, it looks like all the heads are either uncommons or rare, so that's interesting to note. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm happy already with what we got, four rares and a super rare. So if I don't pull anything else, I really wouldn't be too mad. There's another bludgeon, um, and the stratagem is the Chromium one, which is another rare. So, that's pretty neat. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, but what I was saying before, there's Twin Twist, who's the similar one to Top Spin. He, uh, like I was saying before, there is a rare head clobber. Um, I've heard people getting multiple super rares from their boxes, and seeing as, you know, we've already pulled four rares and a super rare, and there's a bunch of packs left. I don't see why not, you know? I mean, it's definitely possible, but highly unlikely. There's Fangry, which, that's a fifth rare. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm running out of space, guys. Um, let's see. Uh, wow. Um, this is a really good box. <laughs> uh, I'll just stack all the uncommons instead of laying them out like that. Um, hopefully that doesn't look too bad. I might have to make the camera look kind of weird in editing, but... Yeah, that's... This is a really good box. Five rares and a super rare, you know? And we definitely can still pull another one. So that's interesting to note. But hopefully we can get Sky Shadow's head. Uh, here's Chasm. I don't think Chasm is Sky Shadow's head. I'm trying to remember. What's its name? I literally cannot for the life of me. But this box is very good. This is a very good box. Next we have Wingspan. Another one of the guys that I'm a big fan of. And then we have uh, Night Racers uh, Stratagem, which this one is one that I am looking for. I'm looking forward to Night Racer. Uh, she's one of the super rares that I am looking forward to the most. So I think I just repeated myself like six times. Uh, here's Mind Wipe. I don't know if I pulled a Mind Wipe yet, but he's pretty neat and an uncommon. And then here's Kreb, which is an uncommon. And uh, next up, we have Autobot Outback again. Hey, and here's Trax's uh, stratagem. So that's pretty neat. Uh, Autobot Outback is a common. And here's the battle cards there. Uh, so yeah, this is this is going swimmingly so far. Uh, here's another Beachcomber. Uh, and then we have Megatron. Fallen Heroes Stratagem, which is a common one, which I think that's the first one we've gotten, so it's almost almost ironic. Uh, we have... I'm going to move this aside. Oh, we have five packs left. So, let's see what we can get from these. Next, we have Wolffire, which I don't think we had this one. He's an uncommon. And uh, here's a plus five health head, which is Grax again. Right? We already pulled him. So that's two Graxes. Interesting. Interesting. And then, uh, next we have whatever's in this pack, which, what could it be? Ooh, a Horrible, which is an uncommon, I believe. Yep. Um, and the head is Flame Out. Uncommon. Um, okay. Next up. Three packs left. Can we get... Another rare or another super rare. That would be sick. There's a brawn. Another common. Um, and here's Windblades Stratagem, which is another rare. I think they made all the ones that have, like, the characters from previous sets rares. Oh, I still need to get Cosmoses. Uh, if I can get Cosmoses, then I'll be set. <laughs> you know? Um, next we have Wingspan again. And uh, Beachcombers Stratagem, which I think that's the first time getting that one. I don't know. Um, yeah, here's our last pack. Everybody, uh, send me all your luck, huh? Let's see if we can get one last good thing. It's, it's an Autobot. 
Brainstorm. Oh, a, a sixth, what? A sixth rare? What? I didn't, I didn't even know that Brainstorm was a rare, honestly, but uh, six rares. That's incredible. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. Uh, I, I literally, I guess I can put him right here. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, this is an incredible box. This box is literally amazing. Um, and he came with <laughs> Sky Shadow's head, ominous. So that's amazing. Um, <laughs> what the heck? This box is, oh, excuse me. <laughs> that box, this box, what the heck? Uh, has anyone else seen odds like this? Cause that's pretty incredible. Six rares and a super rare. Oh my gosh, thank you guys for sending your magic if you actually did, your luck, whatever. Holy crap, this is insane. Um, <laughs> here, let me get a let me get a sleep for Ominous and we'll have a look at Sky Shadow as a whole. Oh my goodness, this is insane. Okay, Ominous, here we go. Here, let me set aside all these commas and I'll sort all these later, eventually. Jesus. What is this box? What is this box, guys? What is this box? Um, get in the sleeve right, please. Okay. But yeah, I don't think I got a stratagem, which means I can't play him quite yet. But when I do, he's gonna be sick. Um, so yeah, that is him. Super, super cool. Now we can move on to the battle card. So let me put all the rares somewhere where they're not too distracting i guess um i'm gonna sleeve all the small rare rare, rare heads excuse me um and just throw them aside because nobody really clear, clear cares about clobber that much huh am i right am i right lads okay clobber grax can just go over there and here's all the heads again i'll just sort them all later don't you guys worry and um yeah that's that let's um See, I probably should have organized this way better. I'll probably cut this anyway. Or maybe not. Who knows? Okay, that'll work. Right? Right? Sure, whatever. All right, stratagems here. Rare ones. I don't know what I'll do with those. All right, but before we get into the battle cards, every box comes with Fortress Maximus. Uh, don't resell, by the way. Um, if that wasn't obvious already. Um, oh, Lord. Ah, up oh, there goes the box. Um, yeah, let's open him up, see if he's... I'm going to try not to damage him too much, because I know it's kind of hard opening these sometimes. Here, hold on. Come on. There we go. I am super excited about this guy. This guy is one of the cards that I've been wanting to play for a good while. Um, so we have him here. There she is. And then there's a uh, emissary, which I think uh, what's his face? What is his name even? Uh, Cerebros has to be on Fortress Maximus, but I don't believe emissary does. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to be playing Fortress Maximus. Uh, he looks like a really fun card, similar to Metroplex, if not better. I might argue he's better than him, but I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, this looks really fun, and I'm excited to play him in the future. So, toss him aside, and get into the battle cards. So, uh, if you just came here to see the characters, uh, more than welcome to leave. Otherwise, you can chill with me as I look at all the battle cards. I'm, I don't know. Again, I'm not really sure what's good in this set. So, uh, Plasma Horns. I don't know what's going to be like the money cards, like similar to P, uh, PC Tyranny and uh, Security Checkpoint. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see eventually. I'll just scoot this over here so I can overlap anything. And uh, Speed Trap. I don't know how good that one's going to be, but, you know. I mean, it, it's a nice counter to... Uh, to brainstorm or combo decks of any sort, um, so that's interesting. Something like Thundercracker just uh, <laughs> just immediately disappears. Uh, counter Espionage. I know this card is going to be really good. Um, that's going to be such a good card, and I'm really excited to throw it in some sideboards because I don't really know if it'll go anywhere else. 
Um, I can't really see it being in too many main decks. So, uh, the one card that lets uh, uh, Secret Action stay out on the field after the turn that they've been played is also, I think, going to be when there's Nitro Booster. Um, that's going to be a really, really fun card to be using. Um, but, yeah. Come on. Why are these so hard to open sometimes? I really, really don't even know why. They're not really. Reflect damage. That one's going to be an interesting sideboard card if uh, direct damage ever becomes such a, a really big thing. I don't know. If Wreckers end up being like way better than I'm thinking they're going to be, then maybe. Because uh, Cup uh, with a combination of one shall stand, one shall fall just seems like really, really good. Um, so Reflect damage might be... No, nah, that, uh, that would just... Can it trigger? Because I think it's from one of your own cards, right? Uh, no, it's just during your turn. Yeah, no, that that wouldn't even work either, because then you take the no another three damage. And uh, that would be a plus six instead of a plus, um, plus three. Which, oh my goodness, if your opponent did that, they're kind of dumb. Uh, here's Belligerence, which I know this card's going to be a good card. Um, so, looking forward to that one. Next we have Hold the Line. Hold the line. What am I talking about? That's the card in the front of this pack. Um, but yeah, this box was incredible. Um, <laughs> just having uh, super rare and six rares. I've never even heard of anything like that. There's regenerative core. Um, that's just really, really incredible. Um, the only thing that's going to suck about this is organizing all of this after after the fact. So, but you know, you do what you got to do. Um, next we have Ghost Shield, which is one of the two cards in this set that I am in love with. <laughs> You'll see the other one whenever we pull it. Um, hopefully we pull it. If we don't, then I'll be more than upset, but I'm hoping to get at least, uh, because I'm eventually going to buy two more boxes so I can have four in total overall. Um, so hopefully I can get at least one or two playsets of every, every rare, um, and every character. I don't know if I'll get every single character. I'll probably have to trade for like three or four super rares if I had to guess, but um, you know, who knows? Staggering Might. This card is going to be amazing for Fortress Maximus. Um, and anything more than 16 stars. So, <laughs> you know, that's uh, that's something to know. I think Jetfire. It works with Jetfire too. Yeah, 16 stars or more, so Jetfire. Oh boy. He's going to be a mess. He's going to keep being a mess. Um, Regenerative Core again, that's our first duplicate, so that's something, and uh, let's keep going. Oh my gosh, I'm just shredding these things. Hopefully they were made to be shredded. Uh, Ghost Shield, that's a duplicate I will accept. Um, yeah, uh, these things are always kind of boring to open. I mean, the battle cards are interesting and all, but there's not really too much to talk about on them that'll keep it interesting. Um, intrusion Countermeasure Software. There's a lot of counter in this set, um, which I think is a really good idea. Um, I've always been a big fan of reactive decks instead of aggression decks. Um, Energon Mace, this card's stupid. Um, so things like Counter Espionage, um, stuff like uh, Infiltrate, Jam signals. I always love those cards so much. I always have them in my sideboard, pretty much no matter what, because I've always just been a big fan of canceling what your opponent gets to do. There's Ghost Shield. Wow, three Ghost Shields. All right, that's a place to have those. Um, but yeah, um, I'm excited and uh, to start playing with all these cards, dude. Like, um, I don't know what the first deck I want to build is yet. I didn't pull a Quake, did I? Dang. I better get a Quake in my other box, and Hostilities. This is going to be a good card as well. Um, geez, uh, that's interesting. I didn't get a Quake. He's an uncommon, too, so it's not like he's hard to get. Um, you know, that's just it's just weird. <laughs> it's just weird. Uh, then we have Speed Trap again. Another duplicate. I don't know how many rare battle cards are in this set. Um, I know we still haven't gotten the one that I'm a big fan of. I can't even remember what it's called. I really just can't. Uh, versatility. It's not this one. Um, 
There's a lot of healing in this set too, so stuff like Ratchet and uh, the Optim I didn't get an Optimus or a Megatron either. Dang, okay. Uh, Escape Capsule, this card is gonna be interesting. Um, oh my, I, did, I actually didn't get a, a lot of the stuff I wanted. Um, I mean, these rares are cool and all, but a lot of the uncommons in the set are pretty playable too. Um, especially the Megatron. I've heard the Megatron is going to be super amazing. Um, here's another regenerative core from that one. Uh, this is this is such an interesting box. Six rares, six rares, and a super rare. Not the not the super rare I was looking for. Um, I think everybody wants Night Racer. Night Racer is like the one super rare that's going to be, I think, extremely playable. Um, I'm trying to think of the other super rares. There's Whirl. There's Headbutt, headbutt sucks. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't, I don't know. I just can't see it being used. Um, what else is there? I really can't think. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be a really fun set. I'm excited how it changes the meta, and what kind of battle cards from the set actually end up getting played. Um, speed Trap again, so that's a full play set of those. Uh, my back's starting to hurt, and I still have to open up another box in a separate video, which I think you guys might see in a few days. Um, have, there's... nope, that's not it. <laughs> Counter Espionage. Uh, it's still a good card, though. I'm down for having two. Maybe we can get a third one in one of these. We have... it looks like six left after this one. Yeah, maybe I miscounted, but... Uh, Paralyzo Box. This is a card that I am super excited for. I guess we can start putting them up there. Um, Paralyzo Box is going to be so, so amazing, and I am really excited to play it, and it's going to be awesome, and I love it. <laughs> um, you know, I like the idea of having, um, I guess tribal-specific pips, like only a ranged character gets the access that, uh, that green pip card, so that's pretty interesting. Here's another belligerent, so that's pretty good. Um, okay, next up is... I think Belligerence is going to be good in surprise aggro decks. Something like, uh, I, I don't, <clears throat> or maybe make decks just to be sure that all the blues that you're flipping are, uh, here's Master Sword. This is the other card I'm super excited for. Um, having a plus four that you can continuously keep on is just so strong and I love it. And I'm super excited to just do it and, uh, like trigger happy decks or something similar to that. Um, cause plus four tech is 100% nothing to scoff at. Um, I don't know, it might end up being something like Superior Cannon, completely unplayed. Sonic Stun Gun. You play a... Uh, I don't like that card. I don't like it. Um, yeah, because, yeah. But yeah, Master Sword's going to be awesome. There's three of these left. Let's get it. Let's get it. Alright, so for this one, it is another Paralyzo box. Par Paralyzo? I hope that's how you say that. Par Paralyzo? Paralyzo? It's something similar to that. Um, but yeah, so far I'm liking the Scout Armor. <laughs> I keep, like, cutting off myself. Uh, here's the last one, guys. Uh, hopefully we can get that one card that I was a big fan of. Oh, I literally cannot remember what it's called. Sagaring Light. Nope, we didn't get it. But, uh... You know, I still have another box to try and get it. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video or just impressed by my luck, apparently, uh, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll have another box opening re uh, released in a couple days. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a phenomenal day. Peace.